Good morning, everybody. Howdy, y'all. We have made it to the East Coast for the very first time in our lives. We saw a little glimpse of the Atlantic Ocean yesterday. We've seen the Pacific, we've seen the Gulf, we've seen the Great Lakes, but we've never seen the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, it was, it was very, um, I don't know liberating because we've never been this way and we always talked about coming this this direction but it is super cold outside i don't know what's going on but the whole country if you look on like the temperature map is blue which white is like in light blue is like the extreme colds but it is it's blue are you looking for it oh yeah sure? i was gonna look for it since we're talking about it we keep moving this way because we're trying to get away from the cold weather and it just keeps finding us and we know all of y'all are experiencing this right now oh yeah the whole country of course when the time this video comes out who knows so this is i know it's not the clearest but this is the temperature map of the whole united states right now South Texas is about the only thing warm. And then you move on over here to Florida, and it's about the only thing warm. Of course, it's always warm in Florida, except for last year when the iguanas were falling out of the trees, which could happen this year. But we're up here at Charleston, and we're dispersed camping right outside of Charleston. Only 20 minute drive probably from downtown Charleston. Only probably a 15, 10 minute drive to the Atlantic Ocean in a national forest. Can you believe it? Dispersed camping. Yeah, and it's really nice here. It was super quiet last night when we got here and a long road in here. And once you get down here, you kind of got to turn around if there's someone here. And where are we dispersed camping, you might be asking? The Francis Marion National Forest. Didn't even know it existed. We were using Onyx Off-Road and we we were going across the whole entire state to see if there's any kind of like cool public lands and i was like honey there is national forest right here she didn't believe it she was like there probably isn't gonna be any camping and look there's camping <laughs> there's camping i'm really excited about this so we're going to take the day to enjoy a dispersed camping spot we're just gonna hang out here and explore a little bit cody said there's like two ponds that way and there could be gator in it i did actually read one of these other camp spots that were here that's by a pond. Someone said beware of swimming because that they saw gators. For breakfast this morning, we're gonna make breakfast pizza. It does require bacon. So Cody's gonna go outside and cook the bacon. I'm a good husband. At least that's what she tells me. I don't know if she really means it. An idea we've been talking about that we haven't implemented yet is using the back bumper to cook something on instead of having to get the whole entire table out. And we're about to test it out and see if it works. Bacon is the one thing we're not going to cook inside the camper because we know it's really going to make things hold smell. However, everything Kelly has cooked in there has not caused anything to retain a food smell, kind of like our bedding or our uh, fabric part of our seats on our dining area. But we are afraid to test out the bacon. I have a feeling that would make the camper smell pretty bad. And the bumper's working out really nice as a spot to prepare something quick and easy. All right. Thank you. There you go. Last but not least, the egg. I'm gonna put it back in here for a minute. That looks good. I just want my cheese to be melted a little bit more. I think it's done. Put some bacon on it. It looks good. Is it hot? Probably. Yeah. Is this hot? Mm -mm. This is one of the best breakfasts. Well, all of them are best, but this is just so flavorful. This one's good because it's just different. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Kelly made a little bit of hot tea. 
This is probably one of our favorite things to do with camp is just be around a campfire. I've been missing making a campfire. It's like one of my favorite things to do. What's really strange to us in areas like Eastern South Carolina is that there's no rocks. So you usually see just where people have made fires in the past and it's just weird to us that there's no rocks making a fire ring or anything. The first time I saw that, I was I was a little concerned and it yeah. occurred to me. I was like, oh, there is no, oh nothing to make a boundary. But I mean, it's not like there's a lot of shrubs or anything around, so. It's all rock and dirt yeah. around it, like gravel rock that they've dumped to make roads. Taking care of this campfire got me all hot, so I changed clothes. And what are you doing? You're about to go do something. So y'all remember earlier when I was talking about those two ponds and I found out there's a little creek back there. I'm gonna go just for a little walk right through the woods and see if I can see what I can see when I can see it. I love doing this. Uh... I'm gonna stay here and manage the fire. All right. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. I've only been here for a few seconds and I'm a little concerned about one thing that I'm seeing and it's all this activity here. That, that, all that being dug out. That's usually hog activity. And y'all ask, am I afraid of animals? Hogs are probably one of my biggest fears. Wild hogs are unpredictable and they will attack you with their tusk and they can gouge massive cuts into your legs or any body part and then they can eat you. Pretty uh, pretty territorial too. And camp is probably only 25 yards that way. I haven't even been hiking that long. But this is the first pond and it's kind of low right now but it's the first one of two that I was looking at on the map. The next one is west of this. So we just walked south, that's north over there. And we just walk south to this one. And here's even more hog activity right here. There it is. All right in there too. Hogs are really destructive to landscapes. They'll rut up the ground looking for roots and things under the topsoil to consume. So for farmers, they can't stand that because they'll completely destroy a crop. But this is the second pond I saw. So my main goal is all I want to do is get back here and see what this creek looks like. I like to see how different waterways look in different regions of the United States. And this one is called Quimby Creek. So we can tell we're entering into another part of the forest, like a different type of uh, ecosystem. If you look behind us, a lot of pine trees. That's usually a higher ground, a little bit drier. Now we're entering into an area that has more of these these uh, palm pans, I think that's what you call them. They're usually a more flooded timber area, less pines, more hardwoods. How pretty is this? So this area is prone to being covered in water quite often throughout the year. I can tell because the ground is also kind of soft and milky. Now that we've made it to this area, there is potential for there to be gator here. That is one downside of this. Now, as a little kid, there's some property 
that we lived on, my parents and I, the family owned farm. And on the property was a clear cut area, but there was also a whole bunch of woods. And it followed a creek and what I'm doing right now is exactly what I used to do when I was a kid. And it is one of my favorite things in the world to do is just to go to places that hardly anybody goes to and just see what there is to see. Things that haven't been disturbed by people in a while. This is a little bit bigger than I expected. The water is really, really, really dark. You can actually see right there. See how it's got a tea color to it? A lot of tannins in this water from all the de decomposing vegetation, like leaves. It's almost like tea, how tea steeps. But this is, a, this is pretty cool. Right now, this reminds me so much of that property my family used to own. Good news is, is looking along the bank, I don't see any slides. And slides would be, is a spot that would be low with a lot of mud exposed where gators could slide in and out easily of the water. But with how small this little creek is, I don't think there's anything in here except for fish. But there's some decent sized fish and some deep holes in here. And there she is, my angel princess. Did you find the creek? Yeah. yeah. It was burning, it was gorgeous. Oh, you got twigs all in your hair. <laughs> you can get it for me. Oh my lord, <laughs> it's like you have a crown. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. It always happens to me. My hair always catches everything. I'm kind of hot now. I don't know why you wore your cartoon shirt. I was afraid of mosquitoes. And when I got back mm -hmm. there, mosquitoes were bad. Mm -hmm. Just like I thought. Was it clear? It was tea color brown, mm -hmm. but it was going quick. It's beautiful, beautiful. Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be making baked potato soup.
Kelly has outdone herself again. Angel Princess, you really knocked it out of the park. It's hot, but this soup is really good and it really complements the cold weather coming in. So good. It really is. But I have to say, I really enjoyed this camping spot. It's been a while since we've been able to disperse camp like this mm -hmm. and I've I missed it a lot. Man, make a fire. Oh yeah. But we're gonna enjoy this for the evening and we'll catch you on the other. <laughs>